Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to show you how we can take the transmission coefficient equation here, which is rather complicated, and turn it into something that looks a little bit simpler by assuming that alpha times L is much larger than 1. In other words, if the barrier is fairly wide, then what we can say is that the hyperbolic sine of alpha times L, and notice that this term is squared, then that becomes such a large term that a portion of it disappears and this one here no longer matters. Let me show you why. So here we have the equation for the hyperbolic sine of x. This is e to the x plus e to the minus x divided by 2. Now if x becomes large, e to the minus x goes to 0 and e to the x becomes large. So what we can see here is that alpha l, which here is represented by the x, if that becomes a large number, then e to the minus alpha times l becomes basically zero, and the sine, the hyperbolic sine of alpha l, the e to the x portion of that, becomes very large in such a way that one plus a large number basically, well, we can drop off the one, and we have virtually the same equation. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll make those two changes. We'll make the one disappear, and we'll just put this portion of the equation in there instead of the whole hyperbolic sign. So let's do that and see what we get. So then the transmission coefficient becomes equal to 1 divided by, the 1 is now gone, in the numerator here we're going to end up with e to the x. Now e to the x is of course e to the alpha times l. That comes from here, and because this is squared, we have to then, of course, put a 2 there because we're going to square that and square e to the alpha l becomes e to the 2 alpha l and we have to divide that by 2. Now divide by 2 and we square that, that, that divide by 4, so we end up with 16, that becomes e over v sub naught times 1 minus e over v sub naught. There we go. Now the next thing we can do is we look at the denominator, so we have this thing in the denominator, so essentially we have 1 divided by this, which is the same as multiplying by its inverse. So we can go ahead and turn that around, and we can say that the transmission coefficient is equal to 16 times e over v sub naught times 1 minus e over v sub naught. And then in the denominator we still have the e to the 2 alpha l. And finally, if we want to bring this to the numerator, and of course, what we should do is to say this is approximately equal to, because it's not exactly, because we're making some minor changes here, which may or may not be relevant depending upon the size of alpha times L, but now when we bring this to the numerator and make that into a negative exponent, we can say that the transmission coefficient is approximately equal to 16 times the ratio of the energy of the particle divided by the potential of the barrier, times 1 minus that same ratio and then here this becomes an exponential decay function e to the minus 2 alpha l. You may remember seeing that term in some previous videos, the e to the minus 2 alpha l simply represents the decay function, the decay of the amplitude of the wave function as it goes to the barrier. Now of course as the barrier becomes very wide then this will essentially become zero after a certain distance. If it's not too wide then the particle, the particle can emerge on the other side and continue with the wave function however with a smaller amplitude. Now that we have a simplified version of this equation when of course that's assuming that alpha times L is much, much larger than 1. If that's the case, this is a valid equation, easy to work with, and then we use that to find the amplitude of the oscillations of the particle on the other side of the barrier with respect to the amplitude that it had on the left side of the barrier. So here's where our simplified equation came from, and we can use that if this value is at least 3 or 4 or 5 much larger than 1, that means that it's sufficiently decayed to the point where this is actually a pretty accurate approximation, and that's how it's done. 